Hey guys, what's up? This is Kronoska, and this is my part 2 of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. So, um, I got my Dazzle sorted out, meaning that I can now record without half the video being cut off. My video quality is also much better, so it's a resolution and stuff, so yeah, hopefully that will sort- hopefully you guys will enjoy this a lot more. Now, uh, in case you're wondering, I already unlocked the second level because there was a problem with my saving and one of my jiggies didn't get saved, so I had to go back and get it. Uh, I realised this halfway through recording, so in that recording that has now been cut, I had opened the level 2, so yeah, sorry about that, you didn't get to see that. Not that it really matters, all I did was add two jiggies to a picture, but yeah, we've unlocked level 2, Treasure Show of Cove, so, uh, and if you talk to this person here, um, basically you get these facts about the witch, uh, so, and the words that shake, you have to memorise them and use them in a quiz that happens at the end of the game, which determines a lot of things. So I was going to read these quickly, memorise them. Um, so yeah. If you go down here, there's also a cauldron which unlocks a shortcut, but I've already unlocked it, but I'll show you guys anyway. Yeah. Basically, when I find the other purple cauldron, I can jump in it later on, that can warp me to other parts of the witch's lair. So it just it makes it easier to find to get around the place, because the witch's lair is actually pretty damn big. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to head to the second level, Treasure Trove Cove, which I hate. I hate Treasure Trove Cove. For passion. Um, as a kid, I got stuck on Treasure Trove Cove for about a year, but that's because I was like six or something, so I wasn't particularly good at games at the time. That's my excuse. Okay, camera. I thought there was someone behind that chest, but there's not. Anyway, so off we go to the beach, Treasure Trove Cove. So, like every other level, there are 100 notes and there are 10 jiggies, 2 honeycomb pieces, and there are 2 new moves to learn here as well. So, yeah, I'm just gonna start by getting stuff. So, under the water here, there's this little Jinjo. He's a little annoying to get because of the shark who eats you. Oh, fuck. Banjo, Banjo, swim, swim! Oh, damn it. God damn it, Banjo, swim! Oh, fuck. Hold on a minute. Wait till the shark fucks off. Uh, these little feathers are used to fly. Kazooie will finally learn how to fly in this level. Yeah. Bit late for that, because he's a bird. She's a bird, but. Oh my god, I can't get this. Oh my god, no, I'm not dying here. No way. Uh, okay. I'm gonna pick up some health and I'm gonna go back for that little fuck. But he's not gonna be the last Jinjo I get, because if he is, yeah, it's gonna be hard to get the Jigga because of Snapper the Shark, so. He's gonna pick up some health here and go back and try again. And in fact, while I'm here, I'm gonna take care of the boss. The boss is called Nipper and he's a big crab and you have to go up and peck his face. So, I'm gonna do that. Um, but yeah, Nipper has a... He's got a Jiggy inside the shell, so I've got to do a few of them. This is the only thing that works, sadly. Pecking the shit out of his eyeballs. You can't use anything else. There we go. And, you know, the funny thing is, when you go inside the shell, he just... He's not in here. It's just an empty shell now. A vessel of emptiness. But yeah, um, my quality should be a lot better this part, and I also fixed my mic too, so my mic isn't dodgy anymore. Basically, all the problems with part one are now gone for good. So, I can't keep the Dazzle though, um, but I'll be using it for whenever I need to. It's my girlfriend, so I can borrow it whenever I want, so I'll be using it whenever I need to. Mostly for Nintendo 64 games. Uh, eventually they'll all get my own Dazzle, but until then I'm stuck with the crappy Easy Cap. But at the moment I've got Dazzle, so yeah, enjoy the quality while it lasts, I guess. Okay, now this is there's a secret honeycomb piece over here, so I'm gonna go get it just now. Now I actually forgot all about this until I did the practice run of this game recently, so I'm lucky I remembered it this time. It's really annoying. A shark follows you everywhere you go. Fucking hell! 
everywhere you go the shark follows you, it's really, really annoying. Okay. Now that I've got more health, I'm gonna go back and get more Jinjo! Oh, fuck off. This is going to be half the video, just me swimming for this Jinjo. I really, really don't like this. This is not fair, this is evil. Okay. I usually have no problems getting this little guy. There we go! I got him. Okay, now I can actually progress with the fucking game. Okay. Um, this level is a lot harder than Mumbo's Mountain. It's not that hard, it's... it's but it's hard. Harder. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna go up here and learn the move. The new move, which is flying. But I'm gonna get the notes first. God, if I was speedrunning this game, I'd be awesome. Anyway, that's a fly pad over there. We can't use it yet until we talk to Bell. So we'll teach you how to fly. Uh, flying is really simple. Uh, basically, you use A to accelerate and you use Z to land, which just does the ground pound thing, but yeah. It's not A to accelerate, you use A to go up in the air. And you, you have to use red feathers to keep flying. If you run out of red feathers or don't have any, you cannot fly. Which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Now before we take flight, I'm gonna talk to this guy, because he needs his treasure. Um, his treasure is inside the sunken ship. He's a pirate who can't swim. It's a lot like One Piece. <laughs> Pirates who can't swim, like in One Piece with the devil fruits and stuff. Uh, nah, okay, never mind. Okay. Oh, and look, more underwater segments. I hate underwater segments in games. I hate that. And just every single time I play a game and there's an underwater segment, it always trips me up. Ahoy there, I be Blubber's treasure. Sorry. Anyway. Can I get the little Econbokum? Econbokum. Okay. Um. No. Uh, up we go. Now, he has two bits of treasure. He can book up! Anyway, um... <laughs> he has two bits of treasure. So, the next one's for here, which is a lot more hidden than the previous piece. But it's still ridiculously easy to find. Uh, this level isn't too bad, actually. It's... I just remember it being, I just, every time I get to this level I just don't like it because I remember being stuck on it for ages as a kid so I have some bad memories of this level. It's not that it's hard, it's just for some reason I always freak out when I get here because I got stuck on it as a kid and I'm scared of feeling like a, a kid again. Okay. Uh, you see that island over there, Shark Bay Island? I will show you. Yeah, you can't actually get to that island but that little hole there appears if you use a cheat code. Uh, I've used the cheat code already so I can get there. Um, basically, it unlocks a secret item called the mystery egg that was never used. There's, diff there's six different mystery eggs, I think. They're supposed to be used for some add-on feature for the sequel, but it never got realised because... I don't fucking know why. Anyway, so this is a new move. It's called Spring Pad, Spring Jump, whatever. And it basically allows you to do this. Whee! Uh, basically, you can just jump really fucking high if you're near one of these spring pad things. So I'm just gonna explore these little spring pads, get everything there is to get. Okay. There's a jiggy up the top of here. There we go. Okay. Hell yeah. So we've got two jiggies out of ten. Oh, that's okay. Um, oh crap, ow, that fucking hurt. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm gonna quickly go up here and get another, um, Jiggy. Just down here. I love this little guy, he's so cute, he's like a little bucket with eyes and he's called Nike and he's adorable. As a kid I was so, like, awed by that thing, I still am. 
Anyway, you've got to fill him up with, by shitting eggs into his mouth or something, and um, he lowers the sandcastle and boom! Um, yeah. Okay. Now, this sandcastle is basically, it's like a little puzzle you have to spell Banjo-Kazooie on the, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so you have to spell Banjo-Kazooie using the letters on the floor. And basically, uh, whoops, basically uh, when you, you've got to do it in the time limit, if you don't you die. I'm pretty sure you die. Um, basically, that will unlock the cage and the uh, fucking crab will come out to try and kill you and then you can get the jiggy inside. Uh, the sandcastle is also used for cheat codes. Uh, you type in the word cheat and then you type in the cheat code after it. Uh, it's not very useful. Uh, the cheat codes are just kind of funny shit. Most of the cheat codes are just to unlock levels before you should be able to unlock levels. Um, I used one, I used these as a kid to get past levels and stuff. Like, um, I don't think they work for the note doors though, but they do work for the levels. Because um, I unlocked Click Clockwood the last level using it as a kid because I was an idiot who didn't know anything about their game and I was like, oh, maybe this will help. Um, but yeah. Uh, they're also used to unlock those mystery egg things I told you about, but I've already got them all, so... Okay, so we now have three jiggies. I've kind of cleared out this whole segment of the treasure trove cove, so I'm just going to get these little notes and then we'll move on. Okay, so we're halfway with the notes as well, that's good. Okay. So, yeah. Um, now I'm going to look for the next jiggy. Where the fuck that? Where the fuck it is? I don't remember. I'm just gonna wander around. I, I kind of know where all the jiggies here are. I'm not very good with memory, but okay. I'm gonna fly because there's a jiggy in this chest here. Fuck off, bottles! I know how to fly. Leave me alone. I was trying to be a smart ass and land in the chest, but there we go. Yo, yeah, Grinty, I stole your treasure. Fuck you, bitch. It's mine now. Okay. I'm usually very good at avoiding the shark, but my luck with him in this video recording hasn't been very good. So, yeah, I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna be really like, easy or just take it nice and easy and not worry about it. Okay. Okay, there's nothing in there. Some of these chests have like stuff in them that can actually be pretty useful. Like notes. And there's also a chest with two little like, combo combo skulls in them, but ow. That chest. Now these treasure chests must be really hungry if they want to eat banjo. <laughs> um anyway. Yeah, we're almost we're almost done with the notes actually. I've got most of the notes in the level, that's good. Okay. It's gonna head up here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay, these X's, they're another another uh jiggy. Basically you ground pound or if you wanna call it on the X's and they like they show an arrow pointing somewhere and you're like it's like go this way and you know stuff like that. But before I go up the stairs, I'm gonna head this way because there is I think there's a jiggy this way. It's either a jiggy or a honeycomb piece, I can't remember. Well done. Well done, Kronos. Well done. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Shit. 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 Go away, shark. Okay. Yeah, every time I hear that music now, I crap myself. Okay. I'm positive there's something here anyway. I could just be making... Oh, there we go, Jiggy. I told you. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna head back. Now, I'm not actually too sure where the second Homicom piece is, so I'm gonna be looking out for it, so... Yeah. Uh, hopefully I don't have to aimlessly wander around looking for it like I did on my practice run, because I did do that before and that was embarrassing. Um, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> My luck isn't very good. Okay. So we're just gonna head up these stairs and get notes. 
funnily enough, Banjo can't just walk up the stairs, he has to, you know, jump up each individual step, that's why I'm using the talent trot. Oh, there's two Yukumbokums in the chest, how generous. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of these, by the way, because five was like nothing compared to what comes later on eventually, you need to get like 20 of them to just get a transformation. It's kind of annoying. Okay. There's a jiggy down here. We're making progress. Oh, there's a life over here. Oh, yeah, this game throws like lives at you, like, like so much. You just get lives chucked at you. It's funny as hell. It just makes the game really easy. The only annoying thing is like your life count resets every time you reset the game. You're back to three life. Oh my god, that was almost a fail. <laughs> okay. We'll be fine. Okay, 73. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, there's an Ikumbokum. I need to get it. Yeah, I'm just going to start calling them Ikumbokums. I don't actually know if that's what they're called. I've always called them Mumbo Skulls, but just for comedic effect and because I like saying it, I'm just going to call them fucking Ikumbokums. So, Ikumbokum! Anyway, there's an XX. Most people would go and fly, but I'm going to walk because there's not here that I really want. Ow. Okay. That was a delayed ouch. Yeah, I'm just being a I'm being a fucking knob here and I'm I'm not really conserving my health at all. This isn't good. Okay. Now hopefully I don't even I don't die. <laughs> Cause I only have two fucking honeycombs left. Alright. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. Get the notes, get the notes. Oh my god, oh my god, I almost died. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna just go down here a minute and get some health because I'm going I'm really paranoid I'm gonna die and fuck up and I don't wanna do that. Because if I remember right, I haven't died in Manjo Kazooie in a very long time, but I remember right, if you die, you end up having to collect all the notes again. I'm not doing that shit. I hope to god, oh my god, no, 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 no. <laughs> I suck at this game. I'm gonna, okay. Right. Let's try again. Well done, Banjo. Well done. Your jumping is absolutely incredible. Okay. Let's try again. There we go! Whee! I just gotta take it easy. Stop trying to rush it. I'm not fucking speedrunning the game. There we go. Ha, you'll never find me now. Oh, I won't find you. There's not a big red X just in the corner of my eye, is there? Fucking prick. It's okay, we get to kill the treasure chest now. Watch this. Oh. Yikes! Please open me gently. I'll open you gently. There we go. Okay. Seven jiggies. Excellent. Okay. Now, I'm going to head to the top of the world by flying. I'm going to get the rest of the stuff. Here's hoping I'm not a fucking knob and I don't forget where all is. Right. Boom. Okay, we have 92 notes. There's 8 notes and they should all be up here, if I remember right. They should all be up here. I hate those fucking things.
There should be a Jinjo up here. But I, I might just put... There he is, little Jinjo. Hi, Jinjo. Thank you for your jiggy, Jinjo. I love you so much. Jinjo! Okay. I keep thinking this is Zelda and the roll actually makes me go faster, it doesn't. <laughs> Why can't you be like Link Banjo? Why can't you roll properly? Oh, never mind. Anyway. So... Almost done. 95 knots. Okay, I'm missing a jiggy and I don't remember where it is, so... Fuck. Okay, there's a switch here. And... Boom! Oh, it makes the cannon fire a jiggy out. Which is cool as hell. And we go. You can book him. And the rest of the notes are up here. So we have every single note. And we have 9 out of 10 jiggies. There comes the funny part. Where the fuck is the last jiggy? I don't know where it is. Shit! Oh crap. I can't remember where the last jiggy is. Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna be disastrous. This is gonna be absolutely disastrous. I cannot remember where the jiggy is. Um. I don't remember where it is. How can I not remember where this chicky is? Oh no. This is the worst situation that could have happened. Wait a minute. Okay, uh, I just realised I'm a fucking knob because <laughs> I remember what the jiggy is. It's a fucking pirate ship jiggy that I forgot to hand, hand in. There we go. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. How did I forget that? Alright. Take your fucking gold. Give me my jiggy. I believe I forgot all about that. Okay, never mind. I got it now. Okay. Whoa, he's off to spin, spin, spin! Okay. So, I now have all ten fucking jiggies. Okay. So now... I'm going to... Fucking... Sorry. I got a fucking notification about recording, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so now I'm going to get the final honeycomb piece. Which I remember where it is. It's right here. These two trees are actually a pretty good marker. Right here on the box. And of course the shark comes after me, because he's, you know, a prick. Bye-bye. Okay, so we've got everything in this level. It's about time. Oh my god, there's a new come here. I need to get it. You can book him. Okay. Now we can get the fuck out of this level. I've got everything I have to get. And I'm not going to use any cheat codes, so even though I know them all, I'm not going to use any of them until I unlock them fairly. There's three cheat codes you can unlock fairly. Red feathers, gold feathers, and blue eggs. But they increase your feather, egg, and gold feather capacity. But I'm not going to get them yet. I'll just get them when the game gives me them, because I'm nice. Grinty's magic stops you taking the notes off the world, but the 100 you just collected count. Oh, fuck off, balls. I know this. Stop telling me. Okay. So, that's us completed Treasure Trove Cove. So, before we go... Before I end this part, I'm going to quickly go and get this jiggy up here. And I'm going to collect the next... 
Uh, I'm going to open the next level. Once I do that, I'll call it quits for this episode, I think. Since I have a upload limit to maintain. Okay. So that's just got 3 out of 10 Jiggies in Gruntilda's Lair. There's 3, uh, 10 of them, if I remember right. Good. And I'm going to quickly go in here, because there's a little shortcut in here which is really useful much later on in the game. We can't utilise it yet, but... Oh, oh, fuck you. Yeah. Later on in the game there's a... There we go. He's a red cauldron. I can't remember where he takes you, but I'm pretty sure he takes you to like the the end of the like lair, like the final part. So it's like a shortcut right at the start takes you to the end. Because whenever you start this game up, it takes you back to um, the. Eh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it takes you back to the entrance, and you have to go all the way through again. Okay, so it kind of makes it easier, I guess. I don't really use them much. Anyway. So this is the... This is the third level here, Cl Clanker's Cavern. Which... Um, it's pretty hard. But, whatever. It requires five Jiggies to unlock, and I've got 20. So, yeah. Not really too concerned about using them. So Clanker's Cavern has been unlocked. So now that I've unlocked Clanker's Cavern, I think I'm going to call it quits for this part. So, um, thank you for watching episode 2 of my Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for episode 3, which should be up on Sunday. So, till Sunday, this is the Kronos Cat signing off. See you guys next time.